What's up guys, it's Brian and today I'm going to show you a little bit about cloning and making snapshots of your virtual machine using VirtualBox. Alright, to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is make a new little picture here using uh, 3D Paint. So we're going to start with just a basic object on the screen and I am by no means an artist. So we'll, we'll start here. We're going to go ahead and save this to our desktop. And we'll just call it Paint Project. And here you go, you see that it's on our screen now, so keep that in mind. All right, for the purpose of this explanation, I'm going to be using the same Windows 10 machine here. And first thing we'll do is we'll make a snapshot at a particular point in time. Um, this will be before we've done anything with our paint project. So I'm going to call this before. And I'll fire this bad boy up. All right, we got our paint project here. We're going to go ahead and open that back up in 3D Paint. And let's see if we can make a face out of this guy. That's not terrible. We'll go ahead and save this. And we're going to shut the machine down. I'm going to use the ACPI shutdown, which is going to log out of the operating system on the virtual machine and shut it all the way down. Now we're going to make another snapshot, and we'll call that one after. And now we have two different places that we can restore our machine from. Let's see what it looked like before. We'll go ahead and restore to this point. Fire the machine back up. And here's our paint project in its original form. Shut the machine back down. And just like we went to the before, if we were happy with um, the artwork we did there, we could go to the after point in time and restore it there. We have two different points. Um, this has been snapshot and restore. You can also delete your, your snapshots. I'm going to delete after. And since we're back up before, we can go ahead and delete that one as well. We're back to our current state. Okay, for the next example, we're going to talk about cloning a virtual machine. I'm going to use this Windows 2012 machine for my examples. When you think about virtualization, what it is really at the root is just separating a computer environment from the constraints of the actual physical machine that it's running on. And so if I clone a virtual environment, I can move it to another machine. I can run multiple instances of the virtual machine on the same computer. And you can just think about where that's going to take you. You save on infrastructure and power. And you also have a little fault tolerance with your machines. Okay, enough of the theory, so let's get into cloning. What we're going to do, I'm going to pick the machine that I want to clone. In this instance, 2012, we're going to hit clone. I'll just leave it at the uh, default here, Windows 2012 clone. Um, I'm going to reinitialize the MAC address in case I have two of the same uh, clone and original running on the same network. They'll have different MAC addresses and thereby... They'll have different IP addresses. 
we're going to hit next here we are going to make a full clone and what this means is that the clone will have the same size as the original machine so if it's 50 gigabytes on the the original machine it's going to be 50 gigabytes on the clone um, they are independent of each other which means that i will be able to move uh, one machine or the other off of my physical computer now that i've made the clone and we're talking about that we need to move the clone to another computer so we can make it available for another machine. How do we do this? Well, we're going to go into File and we're going to export the appliance. We're going to pick the machine that we want to export. And then we're going to pick the place that we want to export it to. I'm going to use a another hard drive on my physical machine, but you could use a USB drive if you needed to transport it, or you could use network storage. We're going to call the file clone and we're going to save it. Okay, now we've um, exported our file. We've carried it to our uh, to the next physical computer or wherever we needed to carry it. And to import with VirtualBox, we're just going to import and appliance, and uh, it'll we'll go through pretty much the same um, steps that we did with exporting the machine. And that is making a full clone. Okay, for the next example, we're going to talk about linked clones here in VirtualBox. And this is a newer uh, technology. <clears throat> what this means is that when you make a clone of your original machine, and we're going to use the Linux Mint machine in this case, um, only the files for changes made to the clone are going to be saved. Basically, the linked clone will be attached to the original clones hard drives and and they're going to share sort of that snapshot the downside is that if you need to move the original you will also have to move the clone or the clone will no longer work because it is attached to those original files obviously the upside is that you save with uh, hard disk space since you're only saving the changes to the clone and not the entire hard drive so if you have a 50 a gigabyte hard drive to begin with on your original and you make a link clone you're not making another 50 gigabyte hard drive you're only making enough for any changes let's see how this works okay we're going to go to clone we'll use the default here and I will reinitialize the MAC address we're going to pick link clone and we'll go ahead and start this up and as you see here, we automatically ended up with a, a snapshot that's going to be the base for the clone. Let's see what this means in, in practice. We'll start up the original Linux Mint machine. Okay, so we'll make some changes to the machine. We'll go into Office here and go into the Writer. Make a little document. And we'll save this to our, to our desktop.
And here's our document on the desktop. Now we're going to shut down the Linux machine. Okay, so we saved the, the file that we just made on the, the current state of the original machine. Now we'll go into the clone. We'll start this one up. And see that any changes that are made to the clone are not going to be made to the original. The clone is a separate machine all on its own in a cruel world. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. We're going to go to Office and write another little document. Going to save this to the desktop on the cloned machine. And here the document is. Now we're going to shut down the clone here. Now you've seen that um, one, the changes made to one machine will not affect this, the second machine unless, of course, you go into the snapshot. Then it's going to affect both. Let's say, for instance, that you needed to separate the two machines. How are you going to do that? Well, you can either clone the original and make a full clone, or you can clone the clone, and we'll call this one Linux Mint Clone Clone, to move the machine away from the original. The only way to do this is to make a full clone of the link. When we go into this option you're gonna see a full clone is made and now with this clone we can actually move it away from the original and that has been linked clones well that's been a little walkthrough on linking and cloning taking snapshots of virtual machines. I hope you learned a little bit. Look for more videos to come. In the next video, we'll be talking about some network settings associated with VirtualBox. Until then, take care.